In this video, we are going to make a repair to a deer head. Uh, this is a very common damage that I see in taxidermy. It's when the back eyelid is cut. I'm going to apply some hide paste to my clay work all around the eye with a paintbrush. This usually happens when the outfitter or the client attempts to cape the deer in the field and nicks the back of the eyelid. I see it all the time. It's frustrating, but also a very easy repair to make. So I've just kind of tacked it in place with the hide glue. I'm using a water-based glue, a McKenzie paste. I also like to use Pro One paste. Here I am tucking it with my um, eye adjusting tool. I just want to get everything kind of roughly in place for now. You'll be surprised how well this will blend in when all is said and done. I'm just tucking it into the clay and polishing up the eye so we can get that extra clay off. Now I'm going to take some super glue because I don't fully trust that water-based hide paste to hold that as it dries. I'm going to dab super glue around the, uh, the cut area as well. Now I'm taking tile grout. This is in a medium brown color. You can get this in a lot of different colors, but using both my fingers and a paintbrush, I'm applying it around the eye. This stuff works really great for hiding imperfections. It's, it's like Photoshop for your mounts. You can just apply that right over that cut edge and this is gonna blend everything in. When I go to do my final airbrushing, once the mount is dry, I'll be able to airbrush over this. But 90% of the fix is already done at this point using the tile grout to blend in the cut area. Let me just make some minor adjustments here once again. Adding more tile grout and now I'm going to take some spray adhesive and lightly spray that on the area and this is going to really lock it down. Put a little more on top of that. I'm building layers of the tile grout, as you can see. And that's what's going to finally cover that seam. In this video, I've done it all at once just to show you the general idea. The mount is still wet. Ideally, I would wait until the mount was dry and putty the crack that you see behind the eye and then apply the tile grout so just keep that in mind you may have some slight pulling as it dries 